What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Derek and in today's video we are talking about the Elgato Stream Deck. Specifically, we are going to be discussing some of my favorite plugins to use with the Elgato Stream Deck. Maybe you've seen some of them, maybe you haven't, maybe you also have some suggestions. At the end of the video, if, you, if I didn't talk about one that you think is awesome, leave a comment and let everybody know. But with that said, let's go ahead and roll the intro and then we're going to jump right into it. All right, guys, so here we are on my desktop. And as you guys can see, I have the Stream Deck software pulled up and you can see my profile basically here with my different icons and stuff. And I have two pages that I use, one for a oh, its own dedicated plugin that I'm gonna talk about. And then the rest that I kind of have mixed in. Let's go ahead and go through it. And I will show you guys some of my favorite plugins that I use for the Elgato Stream Deck. First thing first, I'm a big fan of Bar Raiders tools. He has quite a couple different ones. So he has one called Twitch Tools. And specifically, the one that I like from this, he has, you know, run an ad, as you can see here. So a lot of these that are here are in the Twitch plugin itself. Like, you know, if you want to play an ad or you want to do a clip or something, which I'll talk about in a minute. But he does have some other tools that aren't there. And specifically, though, again, the one that I want to talk about is this one called live streamers. So what it is, is it's this icon right here on my stream deck. So as you can see here on it, it says there are three live. So when I click it, you can see what happens is people that I'm following. So other Twitch streamers that I'm following, if they are live, when I press the button, and as you saw, it takes a moment for it to pop up, they get shown. So what can happen is when I'm finishing up a stream, Whoever I have uh, that I'm following, what I can do is I can just hit one of these buttons, one of these streamers, and I will automatically start hosting or raid that streamer. So it's just an easy way to do that. Really cool plugin. Again, that's by Bar Raider and it's his Twitch tools, specifically called the Live Streamers tool there. But that brings me to the second one, which is the Twitch plugin itself. Oh, come on, Derek. That's a great plugin. Well, let me show you why I like it, specifically for two different things and that is create clip down here and open last clip so what this allows me to do is while i'm streaming i can hit the clip button and it takes a clip on my twitch account so it is now on my twitch page it makes a twitch clip to my twitch page and then the open clip button allows me to then immediately press that and open the last clip so you know something funny happens in dead by daylight i hit the clip button uh, it automatically, you know, clips the last 30 seconds. I can then hit the open clip button and I can watch that last clip on stream, laugh with my viewers. And it's really useful because I can also then go back after stream and I can turn all of those clips into TikTok videos, YouTube shorts or whatever. Uh, so it's just a really cool way to quickly make a clip and open a clip without having to type anything in chat or anything else. Next, you have this Discord volume mixer so specifically though once you install this plugin the discord volume mixer you're going to drag this icon the discord volume mixer to your stream deck which is this one right here and then here in these two boxes you're going to put in your client id and your client's uh, secret and obviously they have a github page to where to find all that information but then you now have this icon on your stream deck and what happens is when we hit that uh discord icon I need to have Discord open for it to work. So let me go ahead and open up my Discord real quick. A few inches later. What you're going to see is a second window pops up like this. So I have this button at the top right that makes me go back. Let me go back to it again. I have a mute and a deafen button up here, as you can see, that mutes me or deafens me in Discord. And then also what I have is you see all these. This is nobody in voice chat. But as people join, their profile icon will pop up here and their name and then a plus and a minus button will appear above and below their name which then allows me to individually turn up the volume or down the volume of individual users in a discord call that i'm in so let's say i'm playing among us with a bunch of friends i don't have to go over to my discord right click uh and adjust the you know i can't do it but like then normally you have the slider and i can adjust them up or down i can just boom press the plus or the minus button above that person or below that person's name. And then we can instantly turn them up or down by increments of five. So that's a really cool plugin that I also enjoy. Uh, and I think is really cool and really useful if you are a streamer. 
So again, I said that I was a fan of Bar Raider. So I want to show these ones real quick. So Bar Raider also has just two tools that include a speed test and a stream counter. And literally all they do is the stream test button uh, or the speed test button. It makes a button, as you can see right here, on your stream deck. And when you push it, all it's going to do is run speed test. As you can see that happening. And then at the end of the speed test, whenever it's done, nothing pops up on my computer. Nothing else happens. It just does it in the background. And when it's finished, it's going to show me my download speed as well as my upload speed. And as you can see, when it's done, you can see my ping. I'm obviously having some internet issues, but 526 ping. My download right now is 130 one megabytes and my upload is 17.6 megabytes that is exactly what it is useful for the other tool in this bar raider set of tools is this stream counter which is this button right next to it and all that this stream counter does is you have your initial value of zero or you can set it to whatever you want and then you can create a file name so you can click this button choose where you want to save it i just save it to my desktop and i literally save it as counter so you would type in counter you would hit save then boom there is a file this file you can now use you can now bring it inside of obs you know using the text file obs thing and let me pull it up so when i short press the button so i'm gonna do that now it is gonna add one to that file so if i drag that over here again you can now see when i open that it has a value one so let's say boom i press it again two i press it again three i press it again four one more time five i open up counter this now has five in it now if i want to subtract i can just press and hold long press action i went down to four long press again i went down to three now if i want to reset back to zero i can really hold it down for a long time and then you can also do the increment of whatever you want you could do by fives if you wanted and what is this useful for well we can actually type in for example kills put a colon maybe a space and then we can also set a prefix file name so we can just set another one. We'll also save it to desktop and we'll call that one prefix. Save, it's gonna tell me it already exists because I already made one, but we're gonna hit yes. And now what happens is, you can't see it on here, but that's going up. And now if we open the counter, it still it shows three, but if we open the prefix one, it shows kills with a colon and then it puts that three. So now we can have that up so we can name it kills or whatever. So I think that's another cool tool and I like both of those out of that Bar Raider set of tools. The other big one I'll talk about and then I just have uh, two small ones I'm gonna touch on is this Crab's Windows Gizmos. So this Crab's Windows Gizmos, you can see this is a whole bunch of icon or a whole bunch of things under here. And it, it's obviously it's for Windows. So what it does is let me go ahead and go to the second page here and you can see in the bottom corner i have a little arrow that, that moves over to the next page and then i have a, a back to move back the page so i have these set up on a secondary page and all it does it gives me all of these different tools to use for microsoft windows like empty recycling bin instead of having to come over here right click and click empty i can hit my stream deck i can press the over button hit the empty recycle button and boom it empties my recycling bin also i can zoom in or out with the button on my thing so you can see right here zoom uh we have a zoom in zoom out and we have exit the magnifier so let's say i'm on a web page and let's say i want to increase the zoom boom i can hit the zoom button i can zoom in if i want i can hit the minus button or i can also exit the zoom feature to go out now obviously that looks weird on youtube but if you're on a blog or something you're reading some text you're able to zoom in e easily on it there's also this move application to monitor uh left and there's move to the right so you know i use two different monitors because i live stream and everything so sometimes i want to move a window you know a window even when i'm not streaming sometimes i just want to move a window from one monitor to the other so if i have that selected and i hit that button you guys can't see it but it now moved to the other side of the monitor and if i press the right one boom it's back on the right side as well as minimize all applications except the active one so let's say i have like five or six different things open so to show you guys we'll just open the prefix and the counter i have the prefix selected and i want to minimize all the other programs i would just hit this minimize button on my stream deck and boom whatever application i'm currently using stays up the other ones all go back down and it has things like task manager so instead of having to you know control alt delete click task manager boom i just hit a button boom there's my task manager i can kill a program or whatever i need to do here's my clipboard uh bin and history which is nice 
uh, toggle desktop, basically minimizes everything you have open and just shows your desktop. Kill application. So like if I wanted to close this window, I could hit this button or if I'm in a game and it's, you know, freezes up, I can hit that button to kill the game. Screenshot, capture part of the screen or I can click this one to capture the full screen and save, which is also nice. And then also just an emoji keyboard. And then also down here, I have a window shutdown button, cancel shutdown in case I accidentally press the shutdown and reboot my computer. So that's Crab's Windows Gizmos. I really like that plugin as well. And then just to kind of end, three quick short ones, just real quick. There's this CPU usage one. This is by Elgato. So if we just type in uh, CPU right here, it's a CPU by Elgato. All it does literally is it just shows me how much of my CPU is currently being used. So you can see right now, 1%, 2% of my CPU is being used. You might be like, holy cows. Well, I have no applications up and I am uh, streaming with OBS using my NVENC encoder on my graphics card so that my CPU is not being taxed. Also, if we open up our task manager real quick, you can see my CPU is a 16 core, 32 thread processor uh, CPU. So. You know, we got plenty of space. Wow! And then two other quick ones is this color picker. Basically, if you just search color picker in the Elgato store, it'll come right up. But all it is is right here on key press over this, it's gonna show me whatever color I'm hovering. So wherever my mouse is, it's right here on this gray. I hit this, there's the hex code for this color on this red of the stream elements uh, SE Live. I hit that, or I guess it's orange, it's FF3B07. It's really cool tool if you just need to get like, hey, what color is this? Because you're doing something inside Photoshop for thumbnails or whatever, boom, it just gives you that. You can also click this button, it'll automatically copy it to your clipboard. And the last plugin that I wanna show you guys for the Stream Deck that I like is this Tomato Timer. So this uses the Pomodo Timer, if you're not familiar with that. It uses that uh, kind of work break method uh, to keep you kind of focused in your work and stuff. And it actually works really well. So what it does is, over here we have the button and what it has is you have a work time a short break time and a long break time so what you do is whenever you're going to start working you just press the button and this 25 minute timer will start going down when it gets done it'll blink play an alarm if you want it to and then you can press it and you will start a short break so you can press it again you'll start your break five minutes you can get up go get a drink go use the restroom whatever if you have an alarm set you'll hear that alarm start to play as long as it's coming through your speakers not your headphone otherwise you're not going to hear it but you know if you have an alarm set and you have your speakers you'll hear it you'll know to come back your breaks over and then after and then after you go through three timers then your next break is a long break of 25 minutes so every three times that you finish work, so basically like every hour and a half, you get a long break of 25 minutes, and then you go back, if you're continuing to work, you'll go back to a work time again. And you can change these values to be whatever you want. The defaults are 25, five, and 25. Again, you can set it to whatever you want. You can also change the color scheme. You can do white, whatever colors you want. They got some different ones, red, uh, you know, we're, we're gonna go with blue. They also have transparent, which is kind of a cool color. It's all it does, just basically a timer, but it's really cool for when you're working. Uh, and I just think it's another cool thing that you can do with the Stream Deck and uh, another thing that I like. And those are the main ones that I wanted to show. Again, there's other ones I use, as you can see, you know, I'm using like the OBS one in order to switch my di between my different scenes. I have <clears throat> Mute and Deafen on here. You know, even though I have it under this one, I also use the actual Discord one, which allows me to mute Deafen. Uh, and you can also set up like <clears throat> voice channels and stuff that allow you to press that and go right into a voice channel, which is kind of cool. So a couple of the bigger ones and then a couple of the small ones that I use, but Hopefully this video, you know, maybe I showed you some plugins you didn't know existed for the Stream Deck or some other uses for it that maybe you didn't know. Also, I would love to see if, if there's any plugins you guys use and would recommend, but these are the ones that I like. These are the ones I find that I use all the time. If you guys have any other tips or tricks with the Stream Deck, would love to hear that as well. Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button below. Also, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button below. That way you guys get notified when I post new videos like this one. I do a lot of help videos like streaming tutorials, videos like tips and tricks for streaming. Also do a lot of review videos for tech like cameras, microphones, stream decks, beacon, all kinds of stuff like that we do. So make sure you get subscribed to the channel. Also, I stream over on Twitch myself. If you ever want to pop over there and ask me any questions or have any suggestions 
on content that you'd like to see, you can either leave a comment or hop over to the stream and talk to me there. Uh, the best way to get to any of my socials, any of my streams or anything is just to visit my website, omgitsderek.com. And then uh, all my socials are listed there as well as uh, you know my live stream and all of that. So again, hope this video helped you out. Hope it gave you some ideas for some things you can do with your own stream deck. And until the next one, peace out, everybody. Later, nerds.